Hi friends, how's everything going? I hope you are all are having wonderful time in this holiday season. I had one week off from my work and so I went to Paris and spent good time over there. So in this video I'll be sharing with you a little bit of my holiday packing, my journey to Paris and the hotel where I stayed in Paris. Yes, uh, this small uh, little uh, see-through bag I bought it from Superdrug and uh, took uh, essential items which I used during my stay in Paris. Basically, I stayed over there just for 4 nights so I didn't take any large luggage with me. All I took with me my handbag and a cabin size uh, hand luggage. First, there was another reason for me to buy this small see-through bag. Basically, if in the airport security asks me uh, to show the liquid items that I am carrying with me so that I can show them easily, that's why I bought this uh, bag and took uh, the liquid products in here. I actually didn't take much. All I had my eyeliner, my hand lotion and a bottle of primer and these are the liquid products I uh, took with me and I managed to put everything in this small little bag. Viewers, uh, this is the hand luggage which I bought it from uh, Amazon. I actually bought two of these and each of these uh, costed me 15 uh, pounds. Even though it looks uh, small, but uh, I managed to uh, take a lot of items in here. I also uh, made room for my uh, Morphe eyeshadow palette and that small little bag. Viewers, uh, it was my dream to go to Paris for quite a long time and finally my dream had come true. I mainly wanted to visit the Eiffel Tower, Disneyland Paris and Louvre Museum to view the portrait of Mona Lisa. Viewers, my flight was scheduled at 9 o'clock in the morning because it was uh, scheduled quite early. That's why I booked a Uber car at 5 o'clock in the morning. But uh, I had to wake up at 4 o'clock and quickly got ready uh, and once the car arrived, I started my journey towards the London Heathrow Airport. Here I was in the car and as you can see that the daylight was hardly to be seen even at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes, uh, I was feeling so sleepy in the car. Basically, the day before I flew to Paris, I had to go to work and I finished my shift late at night. I just had three hours of sleep before I woke up and got ready to go to the airport. So the little secret was that I fell asleep in the car and once I arrived to the airport, uh, my family woke me up and I found myself in Terminal 5 of London Heathrow Airport. Finally, I arrived to the airport. By seeing daylight, I became a little bit awake. From my home to the airport, it took me a one and a half hour. And here is the Terminal 5 of London Heathrow Airport. And here I was going towards the counter for check-in and getting my boarding pass for my flight. So my check-in was nicely done and I got my boarding pass as you can see. I arrived to the airport at 6.30 and by 15 minutes a check-in was completed. As I still had quite a good time before I got onto the plane, I thought that why don't I look around inside the airport and also have my breakfast somewhere inside the airport. Then I was checking whether or not the gate for my flight has been declared, but the gate have wasn't declared yet. Then I was uh, looking uh, to uh, go to Starbucks uh, to have something for my breakfast. This was the inside view of Terminal 5 of London Heathrow Airport. Honestly speaking, this airport stays always busy. I don't think so. There is any time when this airport stay a little bit quiet. From Starbucks, I bought a one medium sized coffee latte and also one piece of a cheese toast. 
The cheese toast was really yummy and the latte it really helped me to stay awake. The cheese toast was uh, quite big. I actually didn't expect that it to be a uh, that much big however uh, since i bought that i forced myself to eat it i normally don't eat much in the morning uh, but since i bought this one i did not want to uh, waste it that's why i forced myself to eat it yes then i was uh, browsing uh, the shops at the airport i saw this uh, peacock statue at the airport oh my god it looks so amazing i took some uh, pics uh, by standing beside it uh, which i'll add at the end of the video for you to view Yes, the gate of the flight was declared and people of that flight were heading towards the gate. I did the same thing and when my group was called, I proceeded through the gate and boarded the plane. Whereas the entire journey lasted one hour, however, to be honest with you, the actual flying time of the plane was just slightly over 20 minutes or so. The remaining duration was spent on taxiing to and from the runway, as well as waiting in the corridor after landing for us to disembark. So it was indeed a very short flight. I felt like I blinked and suddenly found myself in Paris from London. Obvious, uh, this was my uh, first step at the Charlotte de Gaulle airport. I just got off from the plane at that time and needlessly to say I was filled with excitement. Here I am making my way towards uh, immigration with my hand luggages which I had purchased from Amazon uh, I told you earlier. Whereas the Charlotte de Gaulle airport is uh, renowned globally and I found it quite convenient as all the information was available in English along with French. So viewers from this board, I was uh, checking which transport shall I take to go to my hotel. Then I found that uh, 351 number bus uh, will take me directly to the location of my hotel. It was then my time uh, to purchase a Navigo travel pass, which I actually bought it at the airport. I was then made my way to the bus stop and got onto uh, the bus uh, number 351. Viewers here I was in the bus and trying to capture a little bit of outside view from inside. The weather was amazing in Paris. It was so sunny on that day. By bus it took me 45 minutes uh, to go to the location of my hotel from the airport. Every time the bus stopped in a bus stop, the automatic announcement was given about the name of the bus stop, which really helped me a lot. 
Another thing is that as there were maps inside the bus, I clearly understood on which uh, bus stop I'm going to get off. Also, as the Google map was on in my phone, so I wasn't struggle much uh, to uh, know the direction of my hotel. So we are said this is the hotel where I stayed in Paris and the name of this hotel is a Novo Hotel Suites Paris Montreux Vincent. This hotel is a four star hotel. They serve breakfast in the morning and they also have gym. This uh, is the entrance of the hotel and I found this hotel is uh, quite neat and clean and uh, it's uh, nicely organized as well. Viewers, uh, since I had already paid the full amount when I booked the room, I didn't need to go through any payment process. After completing the check-in procedures, I received the room key. I then uh, made my way to the room which uh, was in the fourth floor of the building. So this is the room uh, where I stayed in the hotel and I should say that uh, this was a precious room and uh, it was a pretty awesome one. It had a bathroom with both a bath and a shower plus a separate toilet. There was a microwave and a little fridge in that room and also there were tea and coffee facilities available for us. So this was the bathroom which was uh, quite large. It had uh, both bath and shower as well. In this uh, bathroom they provided a shampoo and also a body soap. This bathroom was uh, really neat and clean which I really liked it. Uh, it did not just this bathroom, the toilet and the entire room was very neat and clean uh, and I really like that. If you ask me to give uh, stars to this room, I should give uh, 5 out of 5 stars to this room. After browsing at this room, I was then trying to uh, check whether or not I can operate this safe and at the end I managed to do it. Actually, this is the first thing I normally do because I always make sure that I keep my important documents into the safe uh, safely. So anyway, viewers, that's it for today. That's what I wanted to share with you all in this video. Just to let you know, more videos are coming onto my YouTube channel on my Paris tour 2023. So stay tuned for that. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. See you all on my next video. You guys take care of yourself. And for now, bye-bye from Fazana.